acquire a certain position in the media and you gain power, you would, because it means a lot to you, you would want to exhibit that power in ways that will be meaningful to other people. And that is my philosophy. Not just being there as somebody who has gotten through the mail and risen to that level, but to see that the industry in which I am would also benefit. And how does the industry benefit? I talked about the formation of women in broadcasting. Women in broadcasting actually try to work to address the negative image of women in the media. For a while, we did what we could, but it's, it also means for, for us, we also thought that there was so much we could, we could not do, even with the power we had, the power of the media. Because there are issues that many women would still not understand in addressing the issue of gender equality. For instance, you call a, 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 a journalist, you would, you would expect that being in the media, all journalists or all media women would be sensitive to the gender it cause, or would be sensitive to the issue of women. But not everybody does. In fact, everybody wants to stay in, his own, in her own small corner as a journalist. And this is what I realized that with the changes, as we went along, and some of my colleagues rose to become editors and to become top journalists, this rather, instead of sharing, we tended to stick to our own small, small spaces. So for me, power, for me, I think we should, power means sharing, and power means trying to change the things that we didn't like in the media before. For instance, from the very beginning, a lot of women were not employed in broadcasting because of the uh, issue of voice. Voice. Voice in the, not the uh, voice, um, political voice, but in terms of the kind of voice they had. The voice was sub meant to be um, something that was clear and strong enough to be on radio. Today, we are not talking about voice anymore. The voice of women as a criteria for uh, employment, we are not talking about that anymore. But we are talking about more important things like the ability to influence, the ability to change what you came to meet, which you think was not right. So for me, power that we have gained and power that has brought us this far means that we need to make that influence. We need to make people believe in themselves. And we need to make people get more committed into the issues of women and especially issues of development. We are not trying to impose, or we are not trying to say that people should be uh, impose their ideas onto other people. Because not everybody thinks that women have problems in Ghana. Not everybody, including our own women. Not everybody believes that there is an issue of gender disparity. Not everybody believes that women are disadvantaged in so many ways. Not everybody thinks that way. So for me, the power is for us to do more work. There are opportunities, but then there's a lot, a lot of work to be done in the area of changing people's mentality and changing people's attitudes towards believing in the cause of gender equality.